The coffee is black in the shadow of an insane asylum. <laughs> and my robot is very, very frisky. And I'd like to welcome you to the Sunday, July 27th edition of Modeling Blog Daily, where Bill just kind of rants. And today I'm going to rant on the genesis of an idea. In fact, the idea is a monorail. Yesterday, one of my viewers sent me uh, some information about a monorail. Lego came out with a monorail quite a while back. They haven't. It, no, it's not a train. It's a. It's an elevated railroad. It's a monorail. Those are not train tracks. They're monorail tracks. And I've been. I think I've been wanting to get that for a long time, but I don't I don't have it. They're fairly pricey right now. In any case, I have been thinking about this monorail, and I decided I'm going to make my own. As some of you well know, I've been a fan of the AC Gilbert Erector set for a long, long while, although I have as yet to put any on film. This is the very first instruction book I ever had for a rector set. It's not the original but it is it's the same one. And uh, in, in fact uh, I had an American Flyer train set under the Christmas tree next to that that church. <laughs> so I've been a Gilbert fan from, uh, from, from the day I was born. Uh, he he actually invented the erector set and uh, a whole series of generations of kids in America benefited. In Europe, Meccano was invented in Great Britain and and is used all throughout Europe even to, today. But but in in America, we had the erector. And by the way, I think the Meccano is superior. But we we had, this is what we had. The the kits were were wonderful. They were basic, but they taught you construction techniques. And I think that Lego had its genesis in the Erector sets and Meccano sets of, of its early uh, early days. You can see by the they have all kinds of different uh, things. I showed you that elevator, uh, and they have complicated things uh, where you can build. Uh, there's a, a cutting and creasing machine, a drawbridge, uh, a uh, electric uh, circular saw. Well, I remember that. I remember in this this uh, this instruction manual that they had a monorail, and quite frankly, uh, it, it it's a marvelous. It's a simple monorail. It uses the erector motor, which I had. By the way, I have all the erector sets. I have some of the erectors that go back to uh, the 1914 museum quality sets that I'm going to eventually show you. I'm going to build mod all the models from them. I, I bought all these older sets, not to, to put them on a shelf and look at, but to build the models. So you'll eventually see me building every one of these models over time. But I just haven't gotten in, in, into it. Anyhow, the Erector had a wonderful monorail, uh, and it, it, you know, it just it basically you had a little thing on the motor, and you made it go in one direction, and you flipped it to go to the other. So you, it's a pulley kind of a system, and it pulled this little car. So it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful uh, monorail that I remembered. And I, I have decided that what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to take this monorail and convert it to Lego. And, you know, put my own design into it. I'm going to make two versions of it. One is going to be with a motor exterior, like it is here, to the car where it runs on a pulley system and when I do that version of it I'm going to use the record and play the Lego 4095 inventor record and play set because it has a wonderful computer controlled motor that you would easily be able to make it go left and right 
on the rail and I'll build the basic monorail out of this set for the phase one. Phase two is where it's going to get interesting. I'll get rid of the motor down here or slash computer and I'm going to put one of the King Kong motors, see that's a King Kong motor or at least that's what I call it, in the battery pack and I'll in such a way put them on on the car on the rail with a whole bunch of gearing and you see I got a whole boatload of gears guys <laughs> I got more gears and Carter's got little liver pills and I'll, I'll do very very real slowdowns of that and I'll set it up in such a way that it'll go real slow and when it gets to the end of the the rail it'll hit a bumper and it'll reverse direction and then go back and it gets to this end that will hit a bumper and reverse directions and go back it'll be a wonderful thing so uh, th this is how I, I'm kinda weird I, I really am I admit it I think differently than most people uh, but, but uh, and I build all kinds of models I build the sets like Arkham Asylum, I build, uh, you know, that's a, well, I guess that is an erector set. That's my, uh, one of the few that I've done and put on film, but that's Big Ben. The ATAT, -AT, these are all sets. Even the, the balloon, that's an erector set. The, the T-Rex, that's a, a marker set. The, even old Rusty is, is from a kit. Even the electronics, but sometimes I do my own designs. And the own, my own designs generally come from ideas, and and this is uh, I'm trying to show I'm trying to teach you guys creativity is what I'm really trying to do. Sometimes I I hear from you that well I don't have any money and I just have four kits and I can't do nothing. I mean, I'm, well get creative and make something with the four kits. That's the whole joy of the the Lego and the Erector. I mean, you can build anything with it. For for example. One of the the viewers wrote in today and, and said that he had the Arkham Asylum and he tore it down and he made himself a, a bunker like it was in uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. I mean, that would make a wonderful bunker with all that gothic structure and everything. Anyhow, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a monorail. I, I don't know when I'm going to do it. I might do it tonight. I might do it tomorrow or next week. But anyhow, you're going to see it pop out on one of my videos, Bill's Monorail, and this is from whence the idea came. The genesis of an idea. Meantime, my robot and I and Red say sayonara, friend. Sayonara. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday.